Morning sports fans, day two in Iceland. Um, we're out and about today. We are gonna walk into the car now. It's parked a few streets away from where the hotel is. Um, we're gonna head up to, I'm gonna try and pronounce this correctly, Thingavella National Park. I think that's what it's called. Thingvella, Thingvalla National Park. And then up to the, uh, see the geyser as well. A few London folk, that's a geyser. But yeah, we're gonna um, have a drive up the uh, half of the Golden Circle today see a few sights and then um, probably finish the rest of the Golden Circle another day. But the sun is out. After 800 metres, cross the roundabout, second exit. Second exit. We're in Iceland or the Grand Canyon, what do you reckon? <laughs> cross the roundabout, second exit. It's a bit more green here, didn't it? It's about to be getting into sort of a foresty bit. Look the houses down the bottom there. There's a mast out there somewhere as well. It is just literally rocks and grass, but it's beautiful rocks and grass, isn't it? The views are stunning everywhere you look, it's just picturesque. It's a postcard in every view. <laughs> That's the first time of you holding the camera, eh? <laughs> I've got pretty good at it, thanks very much. You're doing alright. It's nice to have a camera girl. Don't get used to it. <laughs> well, sports fans, we're having a great time. You know, I'm going to use this. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the piss all you want, but... Not if it's got Isla in it! I can cut you out before uh, you get to Isla. Yeah. How are you enjoying your trip? It's good. Travelling with a child is an experience, let's just say. Mm -hmm. And next time we travel... We're... She's been very good. She's been fantastic, but um, next time we travel, we're checking cases in, because three cases, a pram, a child, three rucksacks, yeah, it's just difficult. She is shattered. Bless her. She's done a fab job. And she's loved it. Yeah, she has. So we're a kilometre away, so this must be the National... Uh, well, the start... Yeah, National Park. Start of the National Park. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the word. <coughs> Oh, that sign's happy with us. <laughs> Maybe the cat will go. Is this where we park down here? Wow, that is a big hole down there. Did you see that? No, because your big head's in the way. Again. <laughs> Why you got such a big head? I don't know, but I think this is it. Maybe it is. You thought what? This must be it, but I don't know where the walk is. Out there somewhere. There's toilet blocks there. Oh, somebody camping there. Hmm. We've just stopped off at some little roadside information centre for the National Park. Just paid about 18 quid for the tiniest, shittiest little latte. So Starbucks, if you're listening, you need to get some uh, cafes and coffee shops on this island, on the road system. But yeah, it's pretty cool out here. The mountain range, I say mountain range, volcanic mountain range, all around this. There's Mrs. This is TJN. And the, the Mitsubishi Eclipse, which has done us pretty well so far. It's been all right. It's been a good car. Good miles per gallon and all that, you know. I'm getting old, so I've got to think of these things. We've made it to the place where two continents, or tectonic plates join, I think. And uh, we're going to have a walk. It's apparently got a boardwalk sort of thing, so it should be all right with the, uh, the pram. But little and is out walking. We're going to head up there, see what we can see. But um, it's a lot colder when you're out and about today compared to yesterday. The hell he's on. Repping the Arsenal, the Mighty Gooners on tour. It's got to be done. Look 
got this nice little boardwalk thing here to go all the way along and then up a bit higher hopefully up there through that rocky bit to the top we'll get up there and look at that viewing platform soon so this is apparently the place where the uh, the chief clan leaders back in the day met to start parliament and become MPs um, so the Conservative Party, the Labour Party, Lib Dems, uh, Looney Party and all them, they all met here, got together, made a few rules and decisions, and uh, they're the laws that the Icelandic people live by today. We're going to walk up this, this path here shortly and head up there between the two, well, what is it, a canyon I guess of some sort? This rock place is pretty cool. We've got the flag in. But it's some sort of viewing platform we've got here. Across the valleys and parliament or whatever they started all those years ago. But it's a lot cooler up here. A lot cooler coming into the island. The wind is cooler today. Even though the sun's out, I need this coat and hat on. This bald guy can't take the cold weather anymore. Look at that rock just there, balancing between two bigger rocks. How that's not falling down, I don't know. Let's head back down these stairs, because there's wifey and little TJ just there. Wave! There they go, they're waving. <laughs> We're going to walk up this path now, up there, and then somehow find our way back to the uh, Mitsubishi Mobile. Not too far from the top now. Look at the. I oh know that's a pretty cool view. Here we go, nearly at the top, between the two sides of what I'm sure they say is two continental plates. But I'll have to read the uh, the fine print up here to to be able to give you the real facts and figures, and not TJ's made up nonsense. Where we've come from. Yeah. Like we're opening up to the heavens here. Yeah. Oh, that little centre up top here. Oh, someone's tired. Oh, there's toilets over there. You're going to have a poo. I'll get a coffee as well then. We're going to the top here. Have a look first. <laughs> it's a lovely view. There's a hole behind underneath this. Look down there. Nobody wants to go down there, do they? Well, now we're at the top, we can really see a lot. We're parked down there somewhere. We've walked along there up to the viewing platform over there and then up between these rocks up to this top section there. Some guy's find his drone there, that's pretty cool. My drone's a bit old to bring it out to Iceland and flying. I'd probably lose it down there, down there somewhere. But yeah, it's pretty cool up here. The hat's off. We're warm now after climbing up there. I think it's time we go and get a drink and a coffee and uh, and hit the road again and head up to the uh, the geezers or the geysers, whatever you want to call it. It looks better coming down than it did going up, I think. And this gorge opens up. It's blooming gorgeous. It's blooming gorgeous. What did you think of it up there then? Come on, it nice views. Nice day, it's nice, yeah. It's We've been quite lucky. It rained when we landed. Obviously, outside we were collecting the car and we uh, we stayed dry, and then it sort of just spitted for a bit. There wasn't a huge amount of rain, but so far, Iceland has been warm and sunny. Are you gonna do it? You reckon? Yeah. We're gonna get rain now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we will. Oh, look at the black stars. 
can see in the background where we went up the stairs there along the rock face up to the top up there down the bottom there's to be this cool little well i can only assume a church or meeting place or whatever a few little white houses as well spooky doesn't it but it is at night it must have been a church because the other side of it is a uh, a graveyard for it Here they come, here they come sports fans. It's going to be a lot of this in Iceland I think. A lot of waiting around for a little, little TJM to catch up. But it's all good fun. I could have done with my shades now, I left them in the car but we'll get them back on soon when we hit the road. But this was cool, this is a nice place to visit. I recommend this to anybody that comes here. If you enjoy walking and a bit of hiking and seeing some of the uh, cool rocks and pools, then uh, this is the place to, to stop by. <laughs> the Anything to add, the, the Mr. YouTuber? The, the camera girl thinks it's hilarious, just to film a bit of scenery and then just go phoom, straight onto me. Like I've got loads to say. I don't have any facts about this area. What I can say though is we're leaving the National Park I don't have to drive at 30 miles an hour anymore. We can put it in hyperdrive and go up a bit. Sports fans, we're at our next location. It's the geyser, the geyser, depends where you're from. Um, you've seen them around, they're things that shoot out from the ground, water and steam. But I tell you what, it stinks. It smells like rotten eggs. We'll cross over the road in a second. You can see some of the uh, steam blowing up across the ground there. Well, we're gonna have a quick look inside by the looks of it. Restaurant and coffee house. This little coffee shop in here. In the uh, centre. You got a coffee stand with lots of cakes and cookies. Toilets in the corner. A little seating area. And then a shop down the end food court and in a shop selling lots of uh, Viking based memorabilia which looks quite cool. Ooh fluffy. That's actually quite cool. Reindeer skin. Anyone think we're in like a Canadian ski lodge? I reckon the water's pretty warm here. It must be if it's going up in the air but we are downwind and my nostrils are burning. Oh, it stinks. Looks like a chimney. It's one of them ones where you just got to keep filming for ages and hope that it happens and you catch it on camera, doesn't it? But that's the side you want to be because you want to be away from the wind. Second again. We got 80 meters in the air apparently, according to the blurb on the net. Yeah, that's a long way up. Nice if there was like a warning or a countdown or something. Natural. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which way to be? That way, Trina. Four minutes in. Nothing yet. Oh. I hope that's not it. <laughs> Big build up. I haven't driven all that way for that. I've done bigger farts. Back down the hill there, we saw a little geezer. A lot of you little geezers out there. But here with the big boy, big geezer. Don geezer. There we go. Oh, fuck. Downwind was a bad idea. Good. God knows 
if you can hear me with the wind. But Big Don Geezer is dormant. It doesn't go off very often, which probably means why I can get this close. But we'll have a walk up and uh, stand in front of it. Shout out to Silver Cross, this little pram has been a fantastic bit of kit. Rough terrain like this, them little wheels have been great. There we go, we got something. about you, Mrs. YouTube, Mr. YouTube. <laughs> I'm not that impressed really, that was a bit of an anti-climax. I appreciate it, it can shoot up really high, but um, yeah, that wasn't that great. Come on, let's make a move. Yeah, a little bit disappointed with that one. That wasn't um, as spectacular as I thought it was gonna be, but um, heading back to the car, we'll get in the car, we'll drive up to one of the waterfalls, I think further north of here. I think it's called Gull Foss. River there. That's cool. Little waterfall you river bit. That looks super cool. That's a close up. With a big nose. We don't need a big nose close up. <laughs> We've made it to the top where Gulfoss waterfall is, which is going to be pretty cool. But if I just walk over here, you might not be able to see it because I can't zoom on this. But the other side of this coach. Ladies walking. It looks like a um, glacier, ice glacier. There we go, there's a better view. You can see in the distance over there. Glacier. Right over there in the distance. It's windy up here, really windy. Wow. That looks pretty cool. That's quality. What a view. That is everything that postcards are made of. I can feel the water hitting me from here with the wind. You might see some of it hit the lens, but we'll get closer. Right. That's a double one, look. Double whammy. So see if we can see right down the bottom there. Let's go up to the uh, upper view index, shall we? Have a look further up there, see what it's like. Foss waterfall is mega up here. Super cool. Let's get a full view of where everybody stood looking. Okay. All the way down. I'm gonna film my outro here, I think, guys. It's been a long day. Lots of travelling. Gorfoss waterfalls. That's day two in Iceland done. Well, I say done, we've got to drive back have some food, probably just gonna eat in the uh, apartment tonight, but um, tomorrow's an exciting day, we've got Blue Lagoon. So if you've enjoyed day one and day two, stay tuned, day three, four, five, six, all coming, all following.
But if you like what you've uh, seen so far, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's much appreciated. This is my sort of first week of proper vlogging, so um, yeah, hopefully it goes okay. But uh, I will see you guys in episode three. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you soon.